Put it on the wing. Okay. Welcome to the Weekend Adventure Canada. This weekend, me and Deb are on our way to Thunder Bay. She's going to be my lovely guest host for the weekend. So and excited. what are we doing? We are doing everything. We are going zip lining, Here which I think is going to be my favorite. But we're also going sailing. Yep. And I have like a mad passionate love for sailing. Sweet. We're going to eat lots of really good food. Really good food. And we're also going uh, mining for amethysts. Nice. So maybe, I brought maybe my I'll amethyst. Buy you a ring. I have an amethyst love too. <laughs> and right now we're in a very random spot with very random people around us in Ignace, Ontario. Stick nice. with us and when you see us we'll be in Thunder Bay. After a nice quick drive from Kenora, we've arrived in Thunder Bay and we're standing on the top of Mount McKay, which overlooks the beautiful city itself of Thunder Bay and also the world's largest freshwater body of water, which is Lake Superior. <laughs> Ooh, so, Nook. There it is. Right highly there. recommended. Super Relatively excited. new place. Always busy, so not that many people can go wrong, right? Absolutely. Should be good food. This is the grapefruit fennel, this is the fergola sardé, and this is the roasted Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. This is really good. It's really fresh tasting. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's totally homemade. Very summery. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Strawberry rhubarb sparklers. Yeah. It's like summer in a glass. Yeah. Anything that sparkles is good. Here's some margarita pizza. I've died and gone to cheese heaven. It looks really good. Hit or miss, hit or miss. Hit? Hit? Yeah. Yeah? I just need like a plate of this in my bed. Should I try it? Try it, yeah. Oh, it has beans in it yeah. too. El Dante, right? Yeah. Not soggy. Absolutely, absolutely. A vegetable still needs to taste like a vegetable. And the pesto isn't overwhelming. That's good. Yeah. So that was good. That was amazing. Are you full? I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to rest up because we have a lo super long day tomorrow. Yes. We're zip lining and sailing, sailing. on Lake Superior. Zip lining. Never sailing. been sailing before. Imagine? Oh, super excited about it. So let's go let's check into it. our hotel and go to sleep. In my king size bed. <laughs> it's a tough life. It is. Okay, ready? It's those long legs, <laughs> the columns and legs. <laughs> Can we edit out the high kick, please? <laughs> I didn't Never. know to do that one. It's not a good show unless there's a high kick. <laughs> Hold the bread and the hollandaise. <laughs> Have a lobster tail, please, for breakfast. Just do it. Is it good? Whatever, shut up. <laughs> Yours is like. It's got lots of oregano in it, which is good. I got some lobster in there, eh? There we go. Good thing you're a big eater, because that's like, that's rich. Now 
Now this is where my anxiety kicks in and tonight I'll have a dream about like me just randomly jumping off. Yeah, I like, know. Why would I do yeah, that? I, know. I wouldn't do that. Cliff jumping in 2015. Are you looking forward to it? Looks kind of fun. Look at I how am. far it is. I love Considering it. everything else we've done, this is like a cakewalk. Yeah. Oh, don't look down. <laughs> I have. It actually is kind of creepy. Oh, why is it doing that? Don't look down, don't look down. Why are you looking down? Deb, it could break any second. No, we've never been here. We just walked over the suspension bridge and we have another one to go and then we're gonna go on Canada's longest zip line. I am not Keep usually for, shh, I'm not even Keep it on the horizon. opening my eyes. I'm just gonna, holy mother of pearl. It is tricky because here you feel okay, it's in the middle. And you That's why I'm just okay. looking straight ahead at the bridge. I am. There's only one way to go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is it with me? Are you nervous? Me? Yeah. No, I I like controlled things. This is more my style. That? No, I I don't like that. I like this. I. This is fun. I feel like I didn't have a problem with that because August was actually more scared. Because <laughs> I was scared of the first so one. So you had to be the brave one? <clears throat> well, it's just always nicer when someone's more scared. Right. But. No, no, scared. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm now feeling differently about the zip line. Okay. I love you. Heck yeah. Counting down. Three, two, one. One. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool because you're super it. high up over the trees right there. Really nice view, really fun. You get yeah. some good speed off but the, I felt the hill totally there. Safe. Yeah, super safe. Yeah. I felt worse on the bridge. Not gonna lie. Well, I, Clearly. Yeah, if I mean, you're ever around fun. Thunder Bay, come to Eagle Canyon and check out the two suspension bridges, a 300 foot and a 600 foot. Those are scary. Um, zip line, really controlled, really fun, and you feel really safe. And yeah, good adrenaline Thank rush for the day. Here we are, Fine. Amethyst Mine. It's actually, it's on my bucket list to come oh. here. Oh, well, that's exciting. Yeah, in my like, you know, Your bucket that list side of my life. Really lame. No, but it. I'm a. <laughs> I love crystals, so this is very exciting. Okay. Love amethyst. 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 I'm sure you've never seen a cluster no. before in your life like this. You'll never see one again. It's really pretty. It like the colors are really it neat on it. belongs in a museum. Yeah. What do you feel? Crystals. Can you feel the points? Yeah. Hey! Oh! oh. Get totally back in me. there. <laughs> you have to stay there and count those points. No way. Okay? Stay where you are. We have about three serious people that uh, pick gemstones here for holistic purposes. Do you do you so you believe in the healing properties of amethyst? I don't know what I believe in. I believe in doctors. They <laughs> kept me alive for 88 years. Maybe it helped that you worked here. And you worked with your hands. Long. That's yeah. probably one of the things too. Well, do you love what you do? I suppose I do. That's there you go. Yay! I wonder how many people did that. See, look, that one. Pretty. So welcome to Lake Superior. We're going to get probably the best view of this lake that you could possibly get in Thunder Bay by going sailing. I know, my first time real sailing Me too. ever. Me too, and it's on, um, well, the world's largest freshwater the lake. The journeyer. And the journeyer. Yeah, Greg and E are gonna take us out and they said, we're just gonna whip up all the sails. <laughs> 
and the go faster as as the can. better. <laughs> and we're gonna keel over. Yeah. What? So what's the tipping radius? We we haven't tried it yet. We haven't reached that point. We we're at the final return. We don't know what it is on this boat. This not be oh. that time. <laughs> So Ellie will just bring it around into the wind, as like an airplane, a boat has to set its sails up into the wind. Okay. So she'll turn around, face the wind, and then we'll hoist, and then off we'll go. We'll probably head out towards the lighthouse there, and then down different parts of the bay, and then we'll hopefully go out past the break wall into the outer lake area, and then get our big sails up. Actually, Al, you know, I think with the wind where she is, let's go to the south gap, or the north gap, and we'll put the sail up right now. Uh, Captain Need does the tours daily, and she does all this by herself. She solos the boat. I'm out today because we want to sail all the sails at once, and usually when we have guests, we'll, we'll pick, we'll choose to just to keep it a little bit softer. Because a lot of people, first time out on the water, they're not, they're not wanting the thrill. Yeah. One time out here, we had uh, some people from Arizona. So I don't think they've ever seen water outside of their sink and bathtub, right? You know, and <laughs> so they're out here, and I'm telling them all about sailing, and they're just going. Don't boats tip over? Like, why doesn't it tip over? And so I give them the whole physics about why it won't tip over, the keel and the bottom and the wind and all that kind of thing. And we were watching some racers, and they were heeled right to, right to the limits. And I said, see, they won't tip. One of the boats, as we were looking at them, broke their keel off, went slamming down in the water, and didn't turn right back up. And they just looked at me like I was the biggest liar. Oh, my God. <laughs> I says, except for yeah. when, you know, okay. you know. So, so there and then it's like, well, can we check the keel boats on this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> The only thing that can tip boats like this is a wave at the same time as the wind. Okay, you need the gust of wind and you also need a huge wave okay. that's rolling. So okay. a sea wave, you'd have to get a wave 12 to 15 feet and it'd have to be rolling at the same time. Okay. Then maybe, because you're falling off that wave, like you're up the wave and you slide down it. Right. Yeah. That's a, a way to tip right. your boat over. But just wind in itself doesn't really, because once the boat goes too far, the, nothing is blowing on that sail anymore. So it, 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 you know, there's nothing keeping it going. It always comes back up. So now we're gonna go in a direction that's sort of a little bit downwind, which will make the boat stand up a bit, but it also can potentially swap the sails to this side. Pinnaker is usually a symmetrical sail. This is an asymmetrical, so we use it for reaching as opposed to downwind sailing. We can just so we don't have all that yelling. <laughs> I think this is incredible. Well, it's just so peaceful. Like, I mean, aside from the frantic moments of <laughs> brush with death, and it's sporty. Like, it wouldn't get boring because it would always be different and exciting. As you can see, I'm clearly a natural sailor. <laughs> Comes very naturally. See how it looks like his arms are crossed? Right. And that's his yeah. Face. And that's his body. Look at that cloud. Looks like a big fish. Oh, it totally does. Two sharks swimming side by side with their mouths open. Yep. yep. Actually, I don't know that anybody else will see it. No, probably not. <laughs> now, see if you can get it through the gap there without hitting the brake wall on either side. Oh. <laughs> no pressure. So you see, you're, you're just a counterbalance. That's what you do at the wheel. Yep. All the waves and the winds and everything make happen motion on the boat, yep. and you just balance that. That's all. So as you get a little more heel, you just turn it away. You turn it that way just a bit to keep it on that even heel and away from that wall. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck in everything. Yeah, that was great.
Yeah, that was, you know what, for my first sale, that was, that was a little intense. I'm not gonna lie. In a good way. I'm happy. I'm a happy adventurer today. Okay, we just had a, an incredible dinner at uh, Caribou Restaurant, which was awesome. They are starting to really bring in a lot of great eateries in Thunder Bay. Well, like, I mean, everything fresh. They use local farmers. Yeah. It's super huge and important because... Really booming market right now. Yeah. I'm a very happy camper today. Happy full camper. Happy full camper. We've had a really long day, a really full day in the beautiful Thunder Bay, so we are going to rest up because we have a long day of golfing tomorrow, probably really terribly. And uh, we'll see you at Whitewater when we wake up, but we have to go get some sleep. Absolutely. We're exhausted. See you tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah, this is somewhere that you absolutely have to hit when you come to Thunder Bay. It's Plato Restaurant. Apparently it has the best finished pancakes. So let's go get some pancakes and breakfast before Never we... Never a bad idea. Go golfing. We're here at Whitewater Golf Course in Thunder Bay, which is a uh, an accredited course. You actually hosted a PGA Canada yes, event last weekend. Absolutely. Mid mid July, we had the PGA Tour Canada here. Uh, th that was our second time. Next year, we're right at it again. Hopefully, we're going to keep this as a as a long running uh, event. Uh, brings uh, so much to the club and the community right. and the like, and the community really gets behind it. We're not that great, but I'm uh, excited. We could try to fix I don't know. We're if just gonna try. At the end of the day, we've got a lot of heart, <laughs> so we're uh, yeah. I'm really excited to golf this course. My dad Good. will be jealous, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and let's tee off, I guess. Yeah, right? let's Yay. do it. Okay. Good. So we're going to the back nine which is good because I'm assuming that we are probably going to take longer than a PGA golfer. Okay, so go and see where you're gripping it, right like that? Yeah. Okay, so that's where you have your hand. Yeah. Now bend over like you're in a golf swing. Okay, and we're just going to relax this. All right, I'm good. Okay, close your hand. See how your, your hand should look? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's... Oh. That's the golf swing <gasps> position. Weird. Okay. But that's your natural left hand position. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's different, that's that's the yeah. different that's where you want to be. It'll always want to come back to that position. Right. So if you set it this way, okay, look at the club face for a second. Mm -hmm. If I my hand returns back to a natural position. Right. Club face is pointing way out to the right. You're the first person that's ever told me that. Yes. Dad. <laughs> so yeah, very. My yeah, dad told I me want that. You to John, see the back good. of the hand. Go ahead and grip it. Okay. okay. This feels different. Though. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. See that the cupping of the hand yeah. it fits perfectly on the thumb like okay. that. Okay. Now what you're looking for is to get your forearms level. When I look down and my forearms are level, then my shoulders are square. It's got a good Let's lesson, so you should be good. You should be able to just crack it. Because all it takes to be a good golfer is 30 second tip. <laughs> yes, yes. That a girl. Ooh, nice. Did I fix that slice? You totally fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Two minute golf lesson and your slice is fixed. Where did that even go? I don't know. But it's a good thing I brought a dozen golf balls. Oh. Yeah. I'm not feeling very confident right now, Matt. Where is it? There is no spark in your step right now. For what reason okay. should we go in? Are this we is spectacular. It's right in the center. Right in the middle of the fairway. Oh. Straight. Yeah. Take a practice swing, please. Because as you as you For swing the love of back, God. <laughs> you you straighten your right leg up and you lose the balance to your heel. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Aww, that was awesome. A little bit right. But we're putting. Yeah, we're on the green. Yeah, you want to get a worm's eye view of it and just sort of pretend 
in, use your imagination to see that ball rolling up that and how, how it would flow. Yeah, tick tock. You know, you just, and then you could start to shrink it down. So you're getting that feeling that it's just working as a pendulum. Oh, it broke quite a bit to the right at the end. Okay, that's, that's not bad. So I'm gonna give you one more tip, okay? So this should be right up okay. and fully turned to the target. Okay. We're up and putting. Oh, yeah. wow, that was a good putt. Oh, the other side of it. Oh, you pounded it. Nice! Oh! Well, you know what, that was a great putt. You just hit it too firm. I do like putting. <laughs> Bing. Beautiful. We're putting. No pressure, Matt, but do we're I going for make three the birdies, birdies in a row. And yeah. have to do a chicken wing or yes, <laughs> yes, you do. Just one one flash of a chicken wing is all we need. Yay! There you go. Yay! <laughs> so much better. <laughs> this is where we finish up. This is where it's gonna be great. Awesome. Ow. Nice. Well, it's super straight. Woo. That was solid. Nice. But the, honestly, the first key to a bunker shot is getting it out. Get it out. Get it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a birdie. It's a birdie. Another birdie. Nice. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. That was amazing. You um, of have lifted my golf spirit game. And I will be Thank back you. out on the course. Good. Good. I know good. I'm going good. on Friday. Good. Absolutely. You changed those. everything. Do Probably one of the nicest courses I've been on. It's like a fairy tale. Yeah. It is. Course. Really well groomed. Beautiful white sands and Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah your bunkers right are right beautiful. Right? <laughs> yeah, we don't like to be beautiful. in them, but they well, are beautiful. Yeah. If you three, have to, you might as well be in a nice three one. Three shots, three balls out of the bunker onto yeah. the green. Yeah. We're doing great. Yeah, yeah that was absolutely. great. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, White Water. We loved you. You were great. You were great. Matt, we had you. He was all right. You were good. But you, you were great. <laughs> you. It has been an incredible few days in the city of Thunder Bay. We've had. So many adventures. It has been epic. I am blown away with the diversity of the tourism economy here. Yeah, that's I right. I will be back over and over and over again. Absolutely. The city of Thunder Bay is incredibly welcoming. The people are really kind and everybody was so nice to us and overextended themselves to make sure that we were happy and had a great time, which yeah. we did. And we have to give a huge thank you to Stephanie and Paul at Tourism Thunder Bay, who basically just made sure that we were able to do all these amazing things while we were here. Treated like royalty. Yeah. Come see us next weekend when we're on another crazy adventure.